Okay, so here we are back in this room again, in this spray foam ring. Tell me a little bit about how the compressor can save the customer money, save me money in my new spray foam rig, the air quality, air dryers, air consumption. What uses air in this rig? Yeah, I think people would agree that air is something that is not talked about enough. Um, there's a lot of components, there's a lot of engineering and science that goes into your compressed air. And I don't think people talk about it enough. No. I love talking about it. I know. That's it's why. one of my favorite topics. Um, because there's a lot that goes into it. There's ways that you can save money. There's actually a way that you can, you can come in less against your competitors, increase profitability by having the proper air system, believe it or not. Um, I'll point out a couple things in this system quick. Um, this is a rotary screw compressor. It's a tankless system. Here's your air compressor. We have an oil coalescing filter, um, which comes up here to this, which is another oil coalescing filter into a regenerative air drying system. So this is a desiccant style dryer. Um, the, the key thing, or I should say the safety factor we should look at here is breathing air. We do not want to run any breathing air through a desiccant system like this. Um, it's a fantastic system. They, they get the air down to crazy low dew points. Um, <clears throat> relative humidity comes way, way, way down. Um, the reason that this is cool and the way this can save you money is by increasing your yield. Okay, if you're pulling air or excuse me, moisture out of your system, you're potentially increasing your yield. Okay, it's less moisture going into the substrate um, and it's saving your equipment. Dry air, our equipment likes dry, clean air. So that's the purpose of the filtration, the water separators, the oil coalescing filters, all of that fun stuff. So after it goes through this, it's gonna run into the trailer where everything is regulated as well. I feel that's something else that people don't always care about or talk about is regulating your air pressure. I've seen countless rigs with all the equipments basically taking the, the air pressure that's coming right off of the compressor. On a gas air compressor, what are some of those pressures? 150 plus, 175, way too much but it's a consideration that some people don't take into account because regulators cost money, you know? So uh, it's the unfortunate truth, but uh, we don't get to dictate what spray foam needs to be processed properly. Right. We build it in accordance with them, of what is needed to make quality spray foam. Clean, dry air is one of those things. So, if I didn't have an air dryer on my rig, would I have problems in the future? I mean, you know, obviously you told me that this chemical likes moisture, so I would probably have a lot of issues in the future with my pumps and guns and everything that has isocyanate in it, right? Yeah, absolutely you'll have issues. Um, it can be anything from having dirty, moist, or wet air into a, your drum mixer which has an air motor that can cause problems with it, your transfer pumps, your gun, your substrate, your yield, uh, breathing air quality. There, there's a number of things. And what we're trying to do is prevent all those problems. Right. We want to take all of those problems out of the equation. Problems are downtime. Downtime money. is money. So now, you know, Everybody wants to focus on things that cost money, but you never take into consideration downtime. And breathing air and, and air quality and dry air is something, again, I will say it's underutilized. It's not talked about enough. There's no expectation set right. for it. Uh, climate too, down where you live versus where I live, there's a huge difference in how we need to take care of our air. Um, and again, it can increase profitability. And that's what we want. Yep, avoid problems, lower your annual cost of ownership, and bring home bags of money. Lots of money. Lots. Other considerations around your compressed air is volume. A lot of systems I see out there are undersized for their spray rig. Um, 
In addition to power, which I see often is undersized, air can be undersized as well. It's a money saving uh, thing people do to help get the cost of the rig down. But I will tell you the long-term costs of undersizing your compressor far outweigh the cost of saving a little bit money on the front end. This particular rig uses T3 transfer pumps. It's running a Graco E30. Uh, we have a Bullard fresh air system in here and it has a mixer. If you add all of that stuff up based on the data sheets for each component, you can, t you can see that it needs a lot of air. So that volume of air is very important. It's not just an air compressor. You need to make sure we have the right CFM, cubic feet per minute, and we need to make sure that it makes the right pressure at that CFM, which for our systems is usually 100 PSI is the max for like a spray gun. Some of the others are 60 to 80 PSI. With that volume of air, say we have a 30 CFM compressor, such as this rig, we want an air dryer capable of at least 30 CFM. Otherwise you're gonna choke off that air supply and you're not gonna use all the air that you paid for. You're paying for air. Air is energy and it's money, just like your electricity, um, just like your material. You can look at air the same way. If you're not utilizing the air that you're paying for, obviously you're not as profitable. So if you have an air dryer that's choking off your system, that's one way to lose profits, believe it or not. The second way is if your air dryer doesn't meet the, the inlet air pressure, or the, excuse me, the air temperature on the inlet side of an air dryer, there's a lot of inexpensive sub-premium air dryers out there. They're only rated for 125 degrees of air, of air temperature. Um, if you're spitting 160, 170 degree air into it, you're completely choking off your air supply which again is costing you money. So make sure you get the right air dryer. Call us if you have questions around an air dryer because that's a very important piece that can save you a lot of money and increase your profitability.